Alright, traders, market update time! We're going to look at all the markets today, have a quick look at all the markets and share with you what I'm actually doing here with this. I'm so, so, so excited about trading right now. I just absolutely love trading right now. If you know what to do and you know what to focus on, oh my goodness, it's so incredible. Anyway, guys, um, before I do start, guys, um, I am running for this weekend, for the next two days, I am running a massive, massive, massive 94% off my entire programs. All my programs, chart reading mastery, um, uh, tr three amazing trading systems, mindset, foundational, interviews, everything you think of, a massive 94% off Christmas sale. So if you are struggling with your trading right now and you're looking for an edge up, then I'm giving a no I'm doing a 94% off massive sale and I've got a, an amazing, amazing extra special bonus. That's a secret there. Anyway, if you're interested in that and you're interested, interested in checking it out, what's it in there? Very first link in the description, but I'm only running it for the next couple of days only. So very first link in the description, click on that and go check it out and you'll be absolutely amazed. Anyway, let's get straight into the markets. Do not play today based on what you've seen in this video. Trading is risky, it can cause substantial financial loss. Um, you know, trading is a very, very hard game and sometimes even I screw this, this monkey, he screws it up as well too. So <laughs> anyway, with that being said, guys, do not place a trade based on what you've seen in this video. Trading is risky and treat this, treat this as educational only. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into it. Firstly, I wanted to start with the actual markets itself, okay? The actual, the, the Dow Jones and all those down home country goodness. Then I'll get the silver and gold, all right? Now, what's happened with the overall markets today? Let me move this over here. The overall markets, we had a little update today, right? Little, 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 little update today. Little update today, right? Pretty much nothing in the markets. Pretty much bland, eh, right? <laughs> in the markets. Pretty much a bland day in the markets. Not really much going on through here. And we are definitely still stuck at the top of the channel here. So once again, guys, I did a video at the start of the week saying that we have now ran up towards the top of the channel. So I'm expecting a small little pullback in the Dow Jones. And that's exactly what's happened today. Small little pullback. Same for the S&P 500. Just a small little pullback. Do we continue rallying from here or do we continue to hold? That's yet to be seen. So, and also the NASDAQ as well too. NASDAQ is, is continuing to hold this channel all the way up. I have a, a suspicion, a feeling, I never trade on my feeling, but I have a feeling this is probably going to end here. We're going to start the roll over from here. We're going to start the head down from here. That's just what I'm feeling. I never trade based on what I'm feeling. Actually, I do sometimes, but I always get smacked in that ass. Smack that ass. That's what the market gives me <laughs> when the market does that. Anyway. So guys, that's just what I see there. Silver and gold, what's happening with silver and gold right now? Down, 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 the prices are down with silver and gold, right? Continue to go down and down and down. Gold is continuing to fall even more, and it looks like it's gonna keep just keep running on down from there. And same for same for the uh, for silver as well too, right? Silver is just really, 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 really heavy on the downside, breaking past these levels of support. Oh, this is actually, should I say, this is gold, that was silver. <laughs> This is silver here. What I do believe silver is going to do is we have these levels of support down here. And I believe, oh, look at that. You want a bit of a fan for yourself? Right, I do believe silver is now probably going to try to run these stops down here. There's probably going to be a, a whole bunch of stops down here. So I do believe we're going to run these stops. But then I also do believe, guys, that that's going to be a low point in the market. And I do believe we're likely to start seeing some movement up from there. That's what I do see, guys, in the overall um, on silver there. That may or may not happen. But over right now, guys, yeah. Um, I still have, I I still do have a long term a long term bullish position on um, on gold so that's long term that's not happening one this short term movement here I'm not really worried about that long term I do see we're likely to start moving um, up and moving up as well too so that's what I do see there guys on the overall markets on the actual GDX if you guys remember I did a video here saying look if we reject it here if we do close back above it then that's going to be that's going to be a bullish line. But if we don't, we continue down. Obviously, it's going to continue down because the sellers are in control. And that's exactly what's happened there, right? You can see the sellers, the sellers didn't break back above it. So I didn't get any long signals or any long confirmation that the gold stocks are going to start to rise. So nothing was happening there. And same for the GDX, we've actually continued down. Now looking at the GDX, I do believe, I do believe that where we are right now on this GDX price that we are we are getting ready to run probably even this stop here and probably even this low through here as well too. 
So I'm really, 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 really watching these levels here, guys, because once again, if we start to get a bit of a break below here and we start to get a bit of a rally back up from there, this whole V bottom action will, will create a massive low and then we'll start to see a triple digit gain, which I believe we're still going to see over the next couple of years. A triple digit gain, a triple digit gain over the next couple of years, not over the next couple of days, right? Someone said, John, you've been calling bullish on the last couple of videos. You're misleading people. Really? I'm misleading people. One, you shouldn't be trading based on you shouldn't be trading just based on a video from here, because trading is more is more is, is all about probability. Probability is all about many of trades of the exact same thing, right? Anyway, now looking at silver and gold, I've always said that I still I do believe we're going to see a triple digit gain over the next couple of years. This short term little down movement, I'm not really worried about that because I see in the next couple of years we're going to see a hundred to two hundred percent increases in all of the metals, gold and silver. That's just what I think. I still have done my major analysis, and that's just what I what I think is happening in the markets. All right, guys. So, and lastly, but not least, but shortly, instead, etc., etc., etc. What I what I have done, guys, is as you guys may or may not know. Um, I have a short position on Tesla. So I'm still short here right now, guys. Uh, I still be, I still believe by looking at this overall weekly chart that we're likely to start heading down. And I do feel that we're likely to start heading down next week. Now, I do own a short position on this here right now. Okay, now, one thing I'd say about this is that this could stop me out, meaning this thing could expire. In fact, I'm risking 100% to gain 1,000%. Because if I'm right, I'm going to have 1,000% profit on my hands. If I'm wrong, I'm probably going to have somewhere in somewhere in, in the vicinity of a 60 to 80% loss. Why? Because that's the style of option I bought. I'm risking 60 to 80%, maybe even more. Probably even, I'm gonna, let's call it 100%. I'm risking 100% in this trade to gain potentially 1,000% profit. 10 times my profit, right? That's, that's my risk to reward ratio. I have six months in this uh, in this, in this this trade here, so it doesn't have to happen straight away. It doesn't even have to happen over the next 30 days. But I, as long as by July, June or July, so basically June next year, as long as June next year, Tesla is way below where we are right now. Ding, ding, happy, me, happy for me. Uh, probably not happy for people that are long Tesla, but right now Tesla is showing a lot of weakness and down, 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 the prices are down. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'm out of here. As I said before, guys, if you're interested in learning, getting consistency, and really be able to learn the art of chart reading, consistency, stop losses, trading systems, mindset management, all that sort of stuff, if you're really, really, really interested in that sort of stuff, I've put on a massive 94% off master trader sale. And anyway, guys, I've made, I made a video about it. It may or may not be for you, but I'm running on the next couple of days. Very first thing in the description, click on that right now, go check it out because it may be the best thing that's ever done for this Christmas for you to help you move forward in every area you can think possible in your trading. Anyway guys, talk to you soon.